What's up? What's up, Ben? Gosh, Ben, I just love the fact that you get up when you get up in the middle of the night in Singapore to join us. <laughs> so awesome. Yay. I've been it's absolutely worth it. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, I've been playing around with different times for these things uh, just because, you know, people are in different parts of the world, like you're in Singapore. Um, and there was a little bit of a mix up with uh, the, the time for today. So some of you may have seen 1 p.m. and one, some of you may have seen uh, 11 a.m. So anyway, we're, we're here, we're here. Um, but yeah, I was like doing things in the evening and then a lot of people in Europe were like, hey, we'd love to join, but they're not like Ben, they won't get up in the middle of the night and, and join, so. <laughs> <laughs> Josh is like, Josh, where, where are you from again? Where do you live? You can unmute yourself if you want. Oh, UK. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't even bring myself to um, wake up at 11.59 to do the whole grocery shopping thing because everyone sees, says that that's like the, the thing right now is if you want to get gro groceries delivered, you got to wake up at 11.59 and uh, have your cart all ready to go and then get them delivered. So I can't even bring myself to, to wake up at 1159. I'm just like, I'm like an old grandma now. I just, I go to bed at like super early. Um, but anyway, I digress. Um, so welcome to creating an online course for musicians. I mean, it's really anyone could join if you don't want to create it for musicians. That's, that's fine as well. But I'm happy to see a lot of familiar faces here. Um, if everyone could just type in the chat your name and where you're from, and one thing that you wanna know that would make this call super awesome for you. Lucy is back, what's up Lucy? Federico from Argentina, yay. What's up? Josh, UK, Ben, how to, okay, keep students engaged and not in the same space. That's a really good one. Yeah. Aaron, haha. <laughs> yeah, come to my Zoom. Those other Zooms, <laughs> they're lame. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yay. Oh, you got an apartment. Yes, Ben. Thank you. Rock. Appreciate that. No Zooms like Laura Zooms. Ben has been on a lot of Zooms with me because he took my Transmute Accelerator course, which we're going to talk about. So, um, Kat is here. Kat's from New York. Just hanging out. Cool. Jenny from LA. What's up, Jenny? Jenny's my girl. Yeah, we chill, chill together normally a lot in real life. <laughs> now, now online, how to avoid courses from being boring. Okay, love it. You rock. Um, thank you for saying that. Um, everyone here rocks for being here. Okay, all right. I'm going to get started. So, um, I'm going to just share my screen. A lot of you know me, um, some of you don't know me. Uh, so I'm just going to give you a little like, very quick um, preview of, of who I am and what I do. And uh, yeah, so this is uh, creating your online course for musicians. And I'm Laura, obviously. And my mission is to empower artists to cultivate their own original voice in the live performance space, encourage positive and healthy relationships, and build community by sharing resources. So if you guys are with me on that one, um, just type a uh, amen or I'm with you or something in the chat. <laughs> 
got to, this is a way to make things engaging, right, Ben? You got to keep people, you know, commenting and, and writing stuff and just engaging in the chat. So thank you guys. Um, so here are a couple of different elements of what I do. Obviously performance, music playback, working with different artists, performing at the Grammys, building rigs for artists, doing a lot of live performance stuff. Played with Miguel a few years ago. Been doing a lot of just like controllerism, DJing type stuff, as well as working on TV shows like American Idol. Oops, went backwards. American Idol, and doing a lot of education stuff. This is me at South by Southwest last year. Um, so I've had a long history with education. Um, I became the first Ableton certified trainer in 2008. So I've been doing a lot of Ableton related stuff since then. Um, and that kind of blossomed into more mentorship and entrepreneurship. So I created my company, uh, Electronic Creatives, uh, which is based on performance and playback. And EC is a team of music programmers, producers, show designers, and sound nerds designing and operating creative systems for music performances worldwide. So here's some of our team and some pictures of uh, the company you see. And so I created uh, an educational wing of EC a few years ago and our first education product was called MasterTrack. And uh, we're actually gonna be holding it online this year, <laughs> go figure. <laughs> um, and uh, so MasterTrack is for playback engineers to learn how to evolve their craft and get into the, the, into the biz. So here's me at MasterTrack uh, 2019. And uh, it is a live event usually, um, but we are gonna bring it online because of the times that we're in. Uh, here's a little uh, breakdown of what's gonna happen in MasterTrack 2020. So lots of good stuff. And uh, here's a photo of people putting together gear stuff at MasterTrack 2020, I mean 2019. Uh, so this year, because MasterTrack is usually in person, um, we're going to be holding online. We're going we are going to do the live event in the fall. Um, so to have like the full experience, because obviously we can't all collaborate on building a rack virtually. That's one thing that we can't do. Um, but we can do a lot of the other stuff like software components and what we call the hot seat, where people um, get up and we uh, it, in the hot seat metaphorically speaking, to, um, to make edits and do different programming arrangements and things like that. So that's one element of MasterTrack. But luckily on Zoom, there are these things called breakout rooms um, where you can have people break out into separate rooms. And so we're still going to be doing the hot seat during MasterTrack, which I'm really excited about. So um, I've got the EC education arm as well as my own personal brand education arm. Um, so again, Transmute, my mission. Uh, I, a couple of years ago, I got really sick and I was in the hospital and uh, may, some of you may have read my, oops, my Hustle Healthier article that came out on Medium um, about a month ago. So I was inspired to create the Transmute Retreat. This is the first iteration of um, my sort of health and wellness and spirituality leanings with my like music production and live performance um, stuff. And so I created a retreat for people to come and do yoga and meditate and work on their live performances. So that was like the very first iteration of kind of like this new like wing of uh, education stuff that I started to create. And uh, uh, I started doing quite a bit of thought work and meditation, visualization, relaxation stuff and incorporating that into my programs as well as prioritizing joy. Um, so I recently became a facilitator in a process called the Joy Money Matrix. And I hosted the first one in January and it was a really big success. And um, I can go into more depth on that some other time, but basically just 
how when we're all in alignment with ourselves and in our joy, we have the ability to create more resources and make more money for us because we are all uh, in, in alignment um, with our true passions and our true north. So I definitely want to talk more about that in this, uh, in this call. Um, so I created the Transmute Accelerator, um, which is uh, getting ready to run its third version in May. Um, it starts on May 4th. Ben, uh, who's on this call, was uh, in Transmute 1.0 from Singapore. So we had people from all over the world joining, joining us. And um, shout out Ashley also on the call. Ashley helped me. Uh, to create the first version of Transmute. And she's got a, just a wealth of knowledge on uh, marketing and all kinds of stuff. Um, so uh, the Transmute Accelerator, this is the rundown of, of the, the weeks. We're actually, we just moved it to, to start in May. So we have to get a upgrade, update this graphic, but basically it just takes artists through the process of envisioning their show and then um, building their set and designing their rig and just all the way through to their final performances. And uh, so this is kind of what it looks like. It's a lot of us on Zoom talking about nerdy music stuff and having guests and different things uh, come, come aboard, uh, like my friend Da Vinci um, showing off his Ableton rig and um, some of the concepts that he plays with. So. So uh, basically, um, and I haven't been able to see the chat since I've been sharing, so I'm going to stop sharing it for a second. Um, yes. Oh, yeah. Amazing. <laughs> Ashley, what's up? Uh, so um, that's just kind of like the synopsis of like all of the different sorts of things that I've done. Um, so you can kind of see how I came to... Uh, create my educational platform. So when um, the COVID-19 situation hit, um, obviously it was really challenging for my company um, because we rely on tours, right? Uh, we rely on live shows. Um, pretty much our sole source of income apart from MasterTrack is, is touring. And within a few days, like all the tours went away. And so that was really challenging for me. And I had to make uh, some really quick and tough decisions and I had to lay people off. And, um, you know, without getting into like the, the nerdy business details, um, but there's a AB5 law that got passed in California last year about the gig workers and independent contractors economy in the, in the economy. And uh, EC became compliant with that um, in order to um, basically <laughs> save ourselves from any um, future potential um, government coming after us for, for not being compliant. So um, I put several people on payroll that were working out of our office space. And then the rest of the people um, that were doing tours are all independent contractors um, because they're working for multiple different entities and they're not like solely working for EC. So uh, the, the long or the short of it is I became compliant and then all of a sudden COVID happened. And so some of my people that were on payroll uh, are now on a, unemployment, which I'm glad that I became compliant because they could collect unemployment, which is great. Um, and then the independent contractors, you know, obviously with the stimulus bill that's happening um, right now, they could be covered as well. Thank you, Bernie Sanders. Um, so that's all just like unfolding right now in front of us. Um, <clears throat> literally like today, I need to like go read the news after this. But all that to say, like when COVID hit, I was like, okay, well, what do, what are we doing now? Like, what's, what's the next thing? Because obviously we can't rely on, on, on tours and shows. And, you know, I, I was actually supposed to be doing American Idol right now. So I do play back on American Idol every year. And um, the season was supposed to start for me a month ago. And 
they said, well, um, we're not going to start now, but maybe in a month. And so then, you know, I just found out that I, I, they're not going to need me um, for it. They're still continuing on in a way, but um, they're not going to need me for it. Uh, so that was like a, a, a bummer because, <laughs> you know, that's a really great big source of my, uh, um, my personal income, you know, because that show runs for several months and we get residuals and like, I just kind of like bank on, you know, having that money every year. Um, so the, the good thing about all of this though, is that I do have these multiple streams of income, right? So I've got, um, obviously, you know, I get paid a salary from EC, um, American Idol, you know, co coaching and consulting with artists, uh, my own, you know, performing, working with companies, as well as like my online education programs. So, um, that's kind of why I have been doing a lot of these master classes is to help you know people with um, their own like online educational stuff because you know I really feel like now is a good opportunity for us to to focus on things that can bring us income in different ways like you know some people are just chilling right now like they're just like okay they don't need the money they're fine right they've saved up whatever. Some people really need the money right now, right? These stimulus checks aren't gonna come in for a while. We don't know when they're gonna come in. I mean, you guys are in, in different countries, like you'll probably get them faster than we will, but you know, or maybe like you're above the cutoff of the, uh, the income that you need to bring in to get these checks or whatever. Like also the checks are, you know, $1,200 for the, the, the max. I mean, it's not like that's, going to pay your rent and be a crazy amount of money, especially those of us that live in New York and LA. Um, <laughs> our rent is uh, astronomical. So, um, you know, I feel like now is a really good time to create a course. Um, if, you know, if you're been thinking about it, and obviously if you're on this call, you've been thinking about it. Um, or maybe you just like want to come hang out with me, which is cool too. <laughs> Aaron, what's up? <laughs> um, but uh, so that being said, um, I want to share with you guys all um, a document and I'm going to drop it in the chat. And so um, what I encourage you to do is create a copy of this document on your side so you can work from it. And um, what I'm going to do for the next, um, uh, for the rest of the hour is go over this document and um, talk to you about my experiences with the different tools and techniques that I've used to create my courses. And, um, and so you know, I'll just be sh sharing my experiences and providing some inspirations, hopefully for you. Um, so let me know when you guys have uh, created the copy of the document. And if you're on your phone or something, like, don't worry about it. You can do it another time. Um, but uh, let's get the copy made. Sweet. Um, I'm actually, I'm really curious, those of you that are on the call, um, or on the Zoom, what do we want to call it, <laughs> on this thing, um, if, do you have a course idea already? And if so, would you like to share it with us in the chat? Um, I would love to, to see how many of you guys already have a course idea in mind. Or if you've already made a course, maybe you've already made a course and you can just um, plug. Oh, sweet. All right. Teaching a five day synthesis course next week. That's awesome. On, do you wanna drop a link to where, where it's gonna be? To you can totally promote yourselves here. <laughs> Feel free. Um, yeah, in fact, I, you know, I, I forgot to do this, but I am going to also do the group contact sheet. Um, yeah. 
Let me let me create that real real quick. I'm like, what is the last one that I did? I've been doing so many of these, I can't, <laughs> can't even remember the last one. Um, I think it was, oh yeah, online creative coaching. Yeah, that one. I'm just gonna make a copy of that one. Um, all right, I'm gonna share this one. Da -da. Anyone can edit with the link. Okay, great. So, um, it would be great if you could fill in your um your info here you don't need to do it right now because i want to kind of keep moving but i'm going to put um or you can do it while i'm talking if you want to be that student <laughs> it's totally fine um, but yeah put your course idea in link i can i can personally multitask so um you know i'm a good multitasker um so yeah i'm just like uh checking this out all right, right everyone's yeah so let it out sweat it out fitness yoga class cat that's amazing <laughs> um jenny wants to take it at school then then you're just ripe to do this i mean you're already doing all the twitch stuff so you got you know tons of good ideas um yeah. Cat's organizing her shiz. Aaron's learning how to stream better. Okay. That's awesome. Cool. Well, yeah, if you guys want to keep, you know, keep sharing your stuff. Um what your uh your handles are and put them all in the um in the group sheet as well so we can take it after this because the, the the bummer about Zoom chat is just it just disappears after the call <laughs> you're like what did that person say and sometimes i like want to go back to like the text document you know that it creates for me on my end but then i just never do it's like one of those things like we we always say we're gonna like i'll record calls or like i'll voice record someone saying something thinking that i'm going to come back to it and then i never do so anyway um uh Oh, you can use the three dots to save the chat. Yeah, I mean, I have the chat saved, but I just never go back in it. <laughs> anyway, um, so um, I'll, I'm gonna go to this document if you guys wanna go to this document too. Um, so we're gonna do some like process stuff here, which is um, might be a little different from what you were expecting. Um, so, the, f the first thing about this is, um, you know, I really want you guys to discover what brings you immense joy, right? So I think some people are like, I need to create an online course because I need to make money and that's a way to make money right now. So if that's like the way that you're thinking about this, like I, I definitely want you to just take a closer look at that because if it's not going to bring you joy to create a course, then there's no point in creating the course, I think. Um, because you're just going to create something that you're going to have to continue feeding and it is a lot of work. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to sugarcoat it and say that this process is really super duper easy, um, but it is rewarding if you get through all the work. So I'm just going to preface it with that. 
but you want to make sure that this is something that you really and truly want um, and that will bring you joy in the long run. So for me, when I created the Transmute Accelerator, I wanted to bring a way for people to um, get together from all over the world. I wanted to share my knowledge and share my resources. And I knew that that would bring me joy. I knew that that would excite me. And so, and it, and it does, and it still does. And I'm innovating and thinking of other ways to like create it now and like reach more people and um, update the lessons and just continuing on. But all of that really brings me joy. And um, this is like a whole other discussion, but I want to show you guys real quick my Joy Money Matrix board. So when I was talking about like the, the process of um, what I went through, uh, the Joy Money Matrix and became a facilitator of, um, I did this process last summer for the first time and it really, really changed my life because I became super hyper-focused on what are the things that I love to do that bring me joy. And um, the main things, I'll just like kind of break it down for you. The main things that, that bring me joy and bring me money are performing, uh, performing and creating with others, being a guest star at retreats and events, um, speaking engagements, and doing master classes and education. So there's a lot of other things that I do, but those are the main things that, that bring me joy. Um, so I would like to invite you guys to, to do a little exercise with me. Um, and I, I am gonna offer the Joy Money Matrix online um, probably this, this summer. Um, I, I did it in person and it was just really incredible for the, the people that were um, involved because We've been checking in with one another and just trying to see like if they're still operating from that that place because you just get so inspired when you get super hyper clear on what it is that you want. So um, I would like to invite you to to do this exercise. What do you want exercise? I'm going to give you guys five minutes um, and just take this time to write out and you could do it in this document or you could do it on um, in a pad. Uh, notepad. Write out as many I want statements as you can. So I want this. I want, you know, I want a new house. Like I want a car. Like I want my online course to be finished. Like it could be anything. I want a partner. You know, I want to. Um, so some questions to keep you, to get you going. Um, you know, I'm actually going to share my screen here. Um, so what is your dream? Oh, wait, hold on. Let me share my other screen. Uh, so I can look at you guys at the same time. Um, it's always weird. I think when people aren't looking <laughs> Get dual screens, right? Um, so yeah, what is your dream? What are you trying to accomplish with this? What do you want to get out of this? What is the main reason you want to use this? Um, this tool? What are you trying to achieve with your business life? So these are just some prompts to kind of get you going. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quit talking and um, I'm going to give you five minutes to write, write stuff out.
that's five minutes. Hold, holding everyone to it. <laughs> so, um, so basically, th this exercise is just really for you, um, and you can still see my my screen, right, Cat? I brought it back up for you. <clears throat> Hopefully, I'm gonna look at the chat. Cool. Um, all right, so we're gonna keep moving, but um, feel free to come back and write in even more uh, because like you could have, you know, pages of this. Uh, and, if, and if you guys could all mute yourselves, that'd be awesome. Uh, right now, because I'm hearing some people typing and it kind of distracts me a little bit. Um, so yeah, feel free to, to fill out more stuff. This could be, um, yeah, this, this could be quite a, a, a large list. And this will help inform, if you do want to create a course, um, can help inform uh, some of the different choices that you're going to have to make when you create the course, because there are going to be choices that you need to make. Um, all right, so um, the next thing we're going to do is uh, you could write out on your paper or your computer document. And normally, um, I've got this like pad of paper here. And I, when I do this live with people, we do it on the pad of paper. But um, I want you to write out a permission slip for yourself. So you're going to write your name and then the date and one thing that you want to start or stop doing. I'm going to give you guys a couple minutes. Just the first thing that pops to your mind. So I, I think it's interesting when when we these we take these moments and it's like a very quick decision that we have to make about something like what what those things are and just to kind of look at them a little bit more and kind of analyze them and <clears throat> either uh, realize um, what's something that you are that's really at the top of mind to you right now that can can help you progress and in your career uh, with, you know, creating your course, whatever it might be. Um, okay, so that's just for you. That's just for you to notice what that thing is. Um, and if you feel compelled to share it in the chat, you can share it in the chat. Um, so, um, yeah, for me, I think, like the first thing that came to my mind today is to, stop being unkind to myself. <laughs> we, a lot of us might have that same one. <clears throat> but um, just to catch myself more when I'm being unkind to myself is, is, uh, is top of mind for me right now. Because, you know, especially in this time of um, COVID, it's like we're, our schedules are off and like weird and um, and we're just not like, yeah, we just, we're trying to figure out what our new routine is, you know, and I find myself like doing things like watching the news when I say that I'm not going to watch the news. <laughs> and then I get like stressed or like um, that, that fear can like sometimes come in, you know, and then I'm like, wait a minute, I told myself I wasn't going to watch the news, but I'm still doing it. Why am I doing that? And then I, I'm unkind to myself because, of, you know, I'm like, so it's like a, a cycle. Um, so anyway, I, that's just one thing for, for me. I guess really it just boils down to stop watching the news for me 
right now. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, yeah, we're all hard on ourselves. It's so true. <laughs> well, maybe not all of us. If, you, if you're not, I want to tell you your secret. Um, so anyway, um, moving forward on this, because we could take, like, this could take forever if we <laughs> all go through all the things that we need to work on. But um, no. Oh, yeah. Cat, stop scrolling in the internet. Yes. Totally. <laughs> I know that's another one. Like, I, I feel like I've regressed since the whole COVID quarantine thing, like, where I was keeping my phone in a different room and, like, wasn't waking up and checking my phone immediately. And then this, now it's like, what's happening? The, the news and what's going on with the world? It's like, oh, man. <laughs> So, like, that's my mission for this weekend. It's just, like, no news. Um, sleep hygiene. <laughs> Josh is on day five. Oh, my God. I'm on day, like, 15. <laughs> I'm on day 15. I really am. I did go to the grocery store once. But... <laughs> uh... Oh man. So anyway, okay. So uh, the this next part, knowing yourself. Um, oh my God, Tara Brock is amazing. That's everyone should go do that course. Thanks, Kat. Um, so the next section, knowing yourself. Um, again, we, we're not doing this right now, but I highly recommend doing the Dr. Demartini values work super good stuff, especially when it comes to, uh, relates to creating your online course. Um, because I just discovered, you know, what my top values are. And then everything that I do now is like within the lens of, you know, these values. And so when you really go through his process and discover what your top values are, then like everything you do in life, you're like, all right, does that align with my values? And my my a couple of my top values are freedom um and connection and community and so i feel like a lot of what i'm doing right now is really aligned with my values um because i get to connect with community other people out there in the world i get to have freedom like I don't have anyone telling me like that I need to be anywhere at a certain time. I also have like the freedom to wear my sweatpants all the time. <laughs> I saw a meme and it was like, excuse me while I go change out of my day pajamas into my night pajamas, you know, like I've got like my day outfit, you know, and then my night outfit. Anyway, it's just kind of funny right now because we're just like all in the same place. It's like, yeah. Like, let's just be comfortable. <laughs> um, as Josh says, connecting is even more, com is, it's even more comfortable than more important. Um, yeah, like Jenny says, feeling like an artist in your pajamas. <laughs> yeah, why, why not? It's all mental. It's all our mental state, you know, what we think of ourselves too. So I'm fine with it. Um, so anyway, definitely try the values work. Um, and then these other tests are just like, just self analysis stuff. Um, some of it's free, some of it you have to pay for. Um, but I've done a lot of these tests in the last year just to like learn more about what, what makes me tick. And obviously leadership is another thing, value of mine. Um, so that makes me tick and that's a big reason why do a lot of what I do is because I want to be a strong leader and I want to help others. Um, so anyway, everything that I do now goes through the lens of these, the, the value stuff. Um, all right. So now, because all of that is just kind of like, all right, knowing yourself, knowing what you want. And so now I want to talk about the actual core stuff. Um, uh, so the, the value stuff is, is in the document. Um, if you guys are looking at the document, I'm just going to highlight the, 
Dr. Demartini values work here. Um, so uh, yeah, Jeff talking about like doing no normal routines. Yeah, totally. Like there's some people that, you know, really say like when you work at home, like get up at a certain time and, you know, get dressed. And I've been, I've been doing somewhat of that <laughs> half and half, you know, it's a, it's a relaxed version of that. Um, okay. So let's talk about um, the types of courses and launch methods, right? So um, obviously some of you have an idea of, of what your, your course is. You, you all have your interests, right? You've got, you know, whatever your thing is, you all mentioned it before, like, you know, Kat wants to do the get it out, sweat it out, or hopefully I got that right. Or we was the other way around. Um, <laughs> so, but she wants to do that course, right? And then Ben wants to do more like Ableton and, you know, focus, let it out, sweat it out. Yeah. Um, ben wants to do more Ableton focus courses. So obviously like identifying, you know, what it is you want to do is, is the key thing first, obviously. Um, but then you got to make the decision on like what kind of course that you want to create. And so um, I've spent the last couple of years like seriously nerding out on all of this stuff. And it's kind of, um, <laughs> kind of crazy. I've invested a lot in coaching. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot. I kind of became a, like a coaching junkie last in the last couple of years, which I don't regret at all. I learned so much. Um, I, you know, I just started going down this rabbit hole of like, just like learning about this online world and working with different coaches that had the different slants on it to find my thing. And I feel like I'm just now like finding my thing, right? Because certain people, you know, like there's the whole Facebook group way of doing it, right? Where you, you know, got your Facebook and um, and Facebook group, but you always have to be in there, like constantly talking with people. Um, and obviously there's Twitch, like you guys are saying I would kill it on Twitch. Okay. Maybe I should try Twitch. Um, but so there's just like all these different ways of, you know, creating a course course. So I wanted to talk about just three different ways, uh, three different course types, right? So there's a, uh, well, actually this is like, yeah, um, different ways that you can, um, deliver a course basically. So let's talk about it. High ticket, high touch. So, um, that is what my transmute accelerator course is. Um, so because, um, I met with everyone every week and provided a very high level of um, communication with the group uh, in the Facebook group. Um, I also had um, an assistant for the, the first round. I had someone who was doing all of the emailing as well as technical support. And then in the, the second version, I had um, a teaching assistant as well as someone doing all the communication stuff like emails and automation and all that. So I kind of like leveled up um, in this, uh, the second round, uh, just because, you know, I'm very busy and, you know, I don't, uh, have the time to just be like personally answering, you know, all the people all the time. Cause you guys should see my email box. It's like a war zone in there. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, so anyway, uh, I can't imagine. <laughs> thank you. Um, you know, and also just right now it's, you know, there's a lot going on. Um, but anyway, so like high ticket, high touch. So something where like, it takes a lot of your time, right? Like it's not just a set it and forget it type of course. Like you just, you know, you're, um, you're there meeting with people week by week. Maybe you're doing it live. Um, maybe it's pre-recorded. Um, so that brings you to the next thing. Um, pre-recorded versus live or a blend. So for Transmute, um, I was doing pre-recorded modules with a live component every week. 
So um, the pre-recorded modules were anywhere from an hour and a half to two and a half hours. And I would do like extra content when I would do a show. Like for example, I um, uh, like when I did the Grammys or American Idol, I would like, you know, record myself going through like my sessions and then um, put those uh, up into our platform, which I'm going to talk about in just a little bit. Um, so you could do it a number of different ways. Like you could just pre-record the whole thing. You could do it live. Like if you're just coming up with your concepts and your ideas right now, and you don't have anything pre-recorded and you're kind of just like doing it week to week and you want to launch really quickly and you've got your idea, then you could just do the whole thing live. Right. And then you could like refine it later and like you could make your modules. And so that's kind of like what I've, I mean, I did pre-record, you know, the modules for Transmute One. I did do a lot of it live as well, just because I was still like creating it at that time. And, you know, so it was kind of like a blend. I had a lot of like guest speakers come in, you know, to make it super high value. Um, so it also just depends on like what, you know, you're, you want to charge for your course. And that's like just, you know, a whole other conversation um but you know obviously like i see like ableton live courses out, out there in the world for like 29.99 you know and get your course and like the a to z of ableton live it's like well okay like uh, that obviously is not very you know high high value high touch but that's you know an approach right is is more mass right so you just like do your course and you create the modules and then you and you sell it and you just try to get more people to, to buy it um so oh, there's also uh memberships um so memberships are a little tricky right because um you have to be providing content all the time for the memberships right you have to be there all the time so after transmute i ended i actually try to create a membership um, and, and I did, and then I just got super busy and then I realized, okay, membership is not for my lifestyle right now. I mean, maybe now it is, <laughs> now, now I've, I have more time, but then I was like traveling and doing shows and I was like super busy. So, um, you know, the membership thing for me wasn't like exactly right, but for you, if you, want to month after month just always deliver the same things you know like patreon is kind of a, a form of a membership program um oh yeah aaron just said something about patreon uh, but yeah patreon is kind of like a, a membership site or like having a membership portal will pe people log in yeah uh, will's uh, platform from studio to stage i'm a member there as well you know, it's, it's great. You know, he delivers a lot of like, uh, live content and then, you know, he's in, in the, um, in the membership and, you know, there's some learnings there too. A lot of live streams. Yeah. Like for example, Will like, uh, tried to move his, um, he tried to move his Facebook group to the membership site and get people, you know, engaged there. And then, and then he realized, okay, no, like, everyone said that they'd rather be on Facebook and, you know, in the membership in the Facebook. So he's got like content on his membership site, but then the groups in Facebook. And, and I understand that, right. Cause like, you know, when we build our, our platforms on places like Facebook and Instagram, um, we're like kind of like building our house on borrowed land in a way, you know, cause like what happens when Facebook just like something happens to Facebook, you know, uh, or Instagram or whatever, like, so it's important for us to like have, you know, different combinations of things. So like having our own site with like the ability of people uh, to be engaged, engaged there. And then also having like a community on Facebook. I mean, as much as I am like, I want to get away from Facebook. It's just, <laughs> it's the, the face, the Facebook groups there are just incredible. And, you know, most everyone's on there. Even people that swore off Facebook are now back on Facebook now on COVID. I've seen so many people like coming back. They're like, yeah, I know I said I would never be on Facebook again, 
but here I am. <laughs> so um, anyway, and as Josh is saying, like, you don't own the content. Yeah, like, you know, you, you put your stuff on there and, you know, anything can happen with it. So um, yeah, but so I guess those are just kind of some of the comparisons, you know, uh, between them and, and obviously this is like a much deeper discussion but I'm just giving you guys kind of like an overview of like the different ways that you can go about creating your course um, so uh, also there's the different types of launches right so there again pros and cons to both I have done the open and close so open and closes are good for first-time creators if you're creating week by week um, if you want a sense of urgency, you don't want to promote all the time. Um, the students are going through at the same time creating community, but it can be a lot of work and you can get burnt out. So I definitely felt this way and I feel this way every time I launch Transmute. It's like, oh my gosh, we have to go through this process again, right? Like we have to go through and promote and promote and promote and do ads and try to get people signed up the mailing list and da, 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 right. But at the same time, if you have an evergreen launch, which is good if you have multiple courses, if you're busy, um, if you have a large fan base, um, then you need to constantly be promoting your evergreen course, right? So like, a lot of the pe podcasts, people that I follow that have huge podcasts, um, I'll like tune into their podcasts or like I'll tune into their Instagram live or whatever their Facebook live. And they're just constantly like promoting their, their course or their thing. Right. And this is just something you have to do all year round. So it's cool. Like, it's a way, it's a way to do it. Um, but sometimes like for me, like I have like different seasons, right? Like for instance, right now it's supposed to be my Ameri American Idol season, but it's not. So, you know, I'm kind of reimagining and rethinking and doing different off offers right now um, than I would be. But, you know, I just like know that normally during American Idol time, like I don't want to be operating a membership I don't want to be operating a course. I don't want to have anything going on. But as soon as American Idol is over in the summer happens, then, you know, I can have, have my course happen. Um, that's why we moved master track. It usually it was in, um, in March. And um, a, a big reason this year that we decided to move it to, to June is because I had Idol. You know, I was going to have Idol. And last year, I just remember like having Transmute, uh, MasterTrack, and Idol all like happening at the same time. Like Idol started the week after, or whatever. I just got super burnt out, and it was like an energy thing. So, you know, definitely whatever kind of way works for you. I would say you know there's just different ways to go about it. Um, but if you are like that person that's like cool with constantly promoting and, and you also like evergreen means that you don't necessarily need to be there. Right. So everything that I've created up until this point, like involves me and, um, and that's cool. And I think a lot of reason why people purchase my courses or like come to work with me is because of me. And I, and I realize, you know, that people want to like, engage with me and like want to be in my community and I realize that and I have thought about like doing more evergreen stuff and I'm doing some smaller like you know like courses or like you know offerings that are that are on in the works where people could just purchase those but um but just in general you know I I know like one of my coaches her name's Shannon um she's got this content personality quiz and um my con content personality is live in person, right? So I just work really well being live in, in person with people, right? Um, because I'm a performer and because I've, you know, done everything I've done, done a lot of speaking and all that. Uh, some people's content personality is writing, you know, they would rather write. 
um, some people's content personalities video. They'd rather, you know, record in a video. Um, some people's content personality is just spoken. They'd rather do a podcast, right? So it's just important to like, and, you know, actually I can link to um, her quiz on here. Um, basically, uh, it's just called the content personality quiz. So um, I will do that in a bit. So anyway, those are the different kinds of um, course types. Um, and then these are just some ideas for marketing. So like, I mean, obviously there's <clears throat> so many different ideas. Um, so I put like create your funnel. I mean, I know funnel is kind of like a funny word and some of you like may have been in internet marketing for a while and like understand what funnel means and some of you might not. So basically just your funnel is a way to get people from being cold, right? So like not knowing you at all, not having any uh, relationship with you or knowing you and to being in your warm network, which most of you are like in my uh, warm network. A few of you I haven't met before, but you guys kind of follow me and know what I'm about and know what I do. And maybe, well, obviously at one point you were cold, <laughs> you didn't know me and then you became warmer. And so, um, you know, identifying and creating your funnel, like what are those things that you're going to offer to people to get them to be warmer so that they will eventually, you know, buy from you. Right. Um, so obviously like having your, your unique value proposition. So like what makes you different from everyone else? Like what's going to make people come to you versus the, you know, the other person out there that's selling, you know, an Ableton live course or whatever it is, you know, what, what is your, <clears throat> your special sauce, right? Um, I'm going to put that. Yeah. What's your special sauce. Um, so creating surveys um, as well, like a great way is to ask people what they want. You see people doing that all the time now. Hey, what do you want to know? Like what's, that's a great way. Cause then, cause I see people creating courses and they think they know what people want to know. And then, they, and they actually miss the mark and people actually don't want to know about that thing. Right. And then you've gone and you've just, I would say wasted because it's always learning, but like, you know, you've spent a lot of time and um, you want to, you want to spend some time creating something that's really, um, that people want to, want to know, want to, want to take and want to purchase. Um, so yeah, creating your course title, I'm, I'm going to kind of go a little quicker because I'm running out of time, but um you know, your course title is very important, something that's really engaging. Someone actually told me recently, they're like, um, transmute is not a good title, <laughs> which I was like, okay. They're like, master track is a good title because it, you know, it, uh, it has to do with playback and tracks and, you know, your whatever, but they're like, transmute doesn't like say anything about what it is. And, um, you know, and I just thought about that and I was like, okay, like, I guess like my messaging or my marketing around transmute needs to be a little bit different so people understand why I chose the name. And again, that's like a whole long story, but um, it has to do about the transformation of energy and um, creating the, the next level or the better version of yourself through live performance. <clears throat> so anyway, um, a lot of this, you guys know, you know, publishing, video testimonials you know adding a link to your course building an email list creating a podcast um creating a free mini course hosting a live webinar here we are hosting a live webinar um so you guys might be thinking oh what is she going to sell me at the end of this well you gotta wait to find out <laughs> um promoting your webinar recording bundling your course and other, uh, other discounts. So I'm actually starting to do that because um, uh, I have another course that I'm going to start offering, which I'm going to tell you guys about um, at the end of this. And people that purchase Transmute um, can get the course for free. Uh, so I'm starting to like create multiple different courses so that, um, 
you know, people that are in my community that want to like know uh, about similar stuff can, um, yeah, can get discounts and stuff like that. Um, and then, yeah, creating multiple courses and across promoting. So again, you know, just like when you get through the first one. So like I spent the last year really leveling up Transmute, you know, making that what it is. And now I've got this other idea and that I've had for a while and, you know, COVID <clears throat> has given me the kick in the butt to actually create it, which is awesome. Okay. So, um, just gonna have some of my, my green tea cause I'm like talking a lot. My throat's getting scratchy. All right. I'm like matcha, matcha girl. I quit coffee a year and a half ago or something like that. And then I, I actually quit all caffeine for six months. Thank you guys for saying that you like transmute. I do too. Um, and uh, anyway, but I'm back on the green tea, back in the matcha. Um, okay. I, I, no, I, I feel more energy when I have the matcha. <laughs> um, so sales stuff. Okay. So obviously marketing is one thing. Sales is another thing. Um, I've had to work a lot on my sales mindset, right? So I think a lot of us have this, like in cat, you know, we were kind of chatting on this last week on whatever that call was with the live streaming call, but like, um, just re especially right now, it's kind of like a weird, a weird time, you know? Um, which is why, like, I personally have been like giving a lot right online because I love to give. And also because, you know, I, also want to sell stuff as well because we all got to like you know pay our bills and so for me um I've been doing something called using something called the love method you know when I get on calls with people um which is like not selling anything just listen loving people and so the best way to get clients to really want to work with you is just to love them right and um, so I just think of it as just love, right? It's just an energy, ex energy exchange. Um, and another method is to invite people to work with, with you, right? So um, this is more high touch. And one of my coaches really teaches this. Um, and she's like the Facebook queen. I mean, she's in Facebook Messenger like all the time, like, you know, hitting people up. She also offers a lot of like free content, free master classes, free stuff, right? Um, but it's, you know, and it, and she generally wants to help people and I do too. And we also want to need to and want to sell our higher level services, right? So like right now, you know, on this call, you guys are all like part of my network. And if you choose to, you can purchase stuff for me or not, right? It's up to you. So I, I think just like having that mindset with people, people aren't going to purchase anything against their will, right? A lot of, a lot of people are like, I don't want to sell because it just feels so weird and like this and that. And like, especially right now in the time of, you know, COVID, it's like, ah, oh, I don't want to sell right now because it's like, it's just a weird time. But like, some people genuinely need your help and they want your help and they want to buy that thing. So just like keep that in mind, you know, when you're selling out there and you're, it, it's really not even selling. It's just inviting people. It's sharing, sharing, sharing your gifts with the world. And, you know, if they want it cool, if not, they're, it's not the right time or they're not your people. And I'm just really a firm believer in just, you know, my, my people will find me and, <laughs> that's the most important thing. And, and, and people that don't want what I'm offering, that's cool too. Um, so another concept that I've been really like digging and someone said this to me the other day, and I think Joe Vitale said this originally, but money loves speed. Um, cause I was like, I'm launching this course the week after next, which I'm going to talk to you guys about, but I was like, Oh, should I, like wait to do this should i wait to do it for another month and like promote it more and like do this thing and i'm like 
she was like, no, money loves speed. And I'm like, what? That, that, like, what a concept. But like, basically, just the concept is when you ha get an idea, just act on it. Like, an idea is a gift from the universe to you. And you're acting on it as your gift back to the universe. So the faster you act, the sooner you are rewarded. And I was like, whoa, okay. So that kind of blew my mind. And I was like, all right, I'm doing it, right? So for you guys, if you have an idea, I just really encourage you to just act on it, right? Um, don't let it percolate for another year and just, just do it. Okay, so... Um, different platforms. So these are the different platforms um, that you one can choose for creating, you know, your online course. Um, I we, Laura, are you sharing the screen right now? You're supposed to be scrolling it because I'm not seeing what everyone else is seeing. Uh, I'm seeing live streaming playbook. Oh my god, I'm totally sharing the wrong screen. Yeah. <laughs> okay, wait, hold on. Um, are you seeing it now? Um, what are you trying to show? You see platforms? Yep. Oh, okay. Oh, man. You guys are looking at, like, <laughs> the wrong thing forever. Contents thanks. kind of thing. Yeah, thanks for, for letting me know. Okay, anyway, we're, we're, we're back with the proper document. I'm glad I didn't have something embarrassing up, up there, like, I don't know. <laughs> that would have been weird. <laughs> um, so, anyway, um, but you guys have been following your document, so like, whatever, it's all good. Um, if you're watching the replay of this, um, yes, I do know how to Zoom. I just like doing too many things at once and haven't had enough green tea. Okay, um, so anyway, platforms. Um, so I personally have used Teachable. Um, they're just like apples and oranges, these things, right? Like there's so many different platforms out there. Um, Teachable, I feel, is a very simple, easy platform. Um, I'm actually just going to like log in right now so you guys can see. You guys can see Teachable, right? Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, I'm going to log in. All right. Um, <clears throat> oh, for the love of God. Um, I think my assistant has the code. Anyway, okay, I'm not gonna be able to log in right now. Um, sorry about that. Um, so, oh wait, but I'm still gonna share my screen, the correct screen, and go back to the document. Okay, so anyway, Teachable, um, is the platform that we've used. Um, I, I, I like it, you know, I, I think it's good. Um, it's very simple, like I said, there's other ones that like do all of your marketing stuff and your email funnels. Um, currently we're using something called ConvertKit, but we just moved to it. I was, we were using something called Entreport for a while, which is like a all-in-one solution. Um, uh, platform and uh, it's just is kind of kludgy and expensive um, but one of my coaches was using that platform so we moved to that platform so it's kind of like they're all similar ish but you just have to get in them and figure out the, what you want and it can be time consuming and um, there's you know just all different kinds of ways that you can go about it but yeah so teachable is one um, Thinkific is another one that is kind of like a, a bigger one and Kajabi, um, Kartra for memberships. So these are all just, just different ones. Um, it just depends on like your budget and like, if you want all of your email marketing and CRM to go in here, like, or if you guys have already have like an email marketing program, like MailChimp or ConvertKit or whatever, then you might not want that um that feature so so yeah those are the different platforms and then um you could also join a platform um so i've done um some uh i've done things for lynda.com i did a, a course for lynda in the past 
and it was kind of um it was kind of a a cluster um um oh i'm sorry i'm just checking out with the the, the chat um yeah so it was kind of a, a cluster because they wanted me to come teach a course this was a few years back when they were just starting their audio audio stuff and but they wanted they didn't know what they wanted at the time um so they were like come in and do this like ableton course and i made it like super ninja right i was just like all right i'm gonna like throw out all my fire tricks and like blow people's minds and da 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 and i actually went to Lin the linda headquarters to to film it and they put me up in a hotel and i just spent like several days there filming this thing and then at the end they were like so they you know we filmed it and then a couple months later they were like hey um we just are redoing the entire thing we didn't know what we wanted we actually really just wanted like an ableton like one-on-one course like the intro to ableton because they didn't even have that and i was like oh that that kind of sucks you know because i spent all this time and energy like making this course but one bonus oh man they they still have the course i mean they didn't give it back to me because property of them so i'm just like i'm doing like um pluses and minuses of having your own you know your own course versus going with another company so the plus of that was like they actually paid me in advance and it was a pretty sweet advance um i'm not gonna lie and they were like no you're you're you get to keep the advance and i was like really whoa like awesome um but well basically all you guys that are asking about this course it's now on transmute so <laughs> except for way leveled up um so anyway um they paid me in advance that was sweet i got the advance they kept the content that wasn't as sweet at the time i had to redo the whole thing but you know i made some money for it, it wasn't like completely like a, a bad situation and you know still had like a great relationship with the company um i also did one and then i did a, a few um yeah i got paid to work on my course which i ended up releasing myself later <laughs> um and uh it was actually kind of different content at the time but anyway um so i also did this one for mac pro video um so basically um you know you can watch free previews of this is from like i don't know seven years ago or something so like you know you could this is more of like a membership kind of platform right so you can you know own it or you could just purchase it or if you want to like be a member of their membership you can like do that as well so um that's another example of something that i've done um Oh, Jeff doesn't have the doc link. Here, here we go, Jeff. Um, yeah, boom. Okay, so anyway, so um, I still get residuals from this course from seven years ago, and it's like super basic. It's like the simpler tutorial, like simpler from Ableton is like the most one of the most basic things that you can do but i still like make money from it um it's here and there it's not like a ton of money but it's like still i get this paypal thing every once in a while and it's like oh cool all right i got some mailbox money as they call it or now whatever the equivalent of that is online mailbox money um so there are there are reasons to like you know work with other companies right if you don't want to do your own platform um if you want to just like give it to someone else to put up i will say that like mac pro video they made me work for it like i had to like follow their process to a t on like screen sharing and like uh, or screen flow and like doing call outs and like you know all of these different like processes and procedures in order to make it 
like fit their platform. So that's, you know, something you have to watch out for if you want to do it like your way. Um, then I would say definitely like do it in one of these other platforms and create your own. So between create your own or joining another platform, there's tons of them out there, you know, like masterclass we've all seen, you know, although you have to be like really famous to, to be on masterclass. Like someone was like, you should be on masterclass. And I'm like, um, I'm like, I'm like niche famous, <laughs> but I'm not like, like, um, I'm not like Timbaland fame at level of fame, you know, or like any of those other people on there. So anyway, um, Coursera, Udemy, those are other examples. Okay. So, um, this is where, um, I got to wrap it up soon cause I'm like starving to eat lunch, but, um, I want to talk to you guys about my course that I created my new course. Um, and it's called the creative business intensive and it's starting on April 6th. So basically what the, we're calling it CBI is, is, um, a way to create a fully fleshed out business roadmap with me and other people um, in my network. And so it's gonna be comprised of live workshops, discussion and discourse. We are gonna have a Facebook group, all the things. This is gonna be more um, business focused than transmute. I mean, I wanna say more, it is it is business focused. So. Um, basically all the stuff that I've been talking about this entire time, all the, the learnings that I've, uh, gleaned from investing in all these, this coaching, um, in the past couple of years, I'm basically bringing it into this course. Um, so there's some, uh, information about the curriculum and, and what that, what it entails, um, and uh, it's actually bigger on the website. So um, there's actually a link over here to, to the, the actual site. So it's running from April 6th to May 1st. And um, these are the different elements, lifestyle design, mindset mapping, brand identity, system strategy, sales methodology, promotional plan, tech toolkit, and business development. So basically kind of like a more fully fleshed out version of what I've gone through with you guys here is going to be in the, in CBI. And, um, we are doing a promotion for people that want to sign up early. So the first 10 people to sign up are going to get 50% off. Um, and so there's information here. You can sign up um, for more information, or if you know that you just want to like immediately go for it, there's a register now button at the bottom of the page. Um, so what it looks like is, um, two times a week, zoom group calls, just like this Mondays and Thursdays, um, for a month. Um, we're going to have different guest speakers come in, interactive activities, master classes, community, all that kind of stuff. So the goal is for you to build your creative course or a coaching platform with me and this group over a month. So this is the schedule and then here's the curriculum. Um, so the, a lot of the stuff that I just talked about, um, but more fully fleshed out and a bunch of just information on different stuff that I've created, which you guys already know. And um, this is the bundle deal that I was just talking about. So, um, in, uh, people that have already done transmute, will get a discount. And if, um, you want to do transmute, which we're going to run in May after this, we will, um, offer this program at no additional cost. So you basically get it for free if you enroll in transmute <clears throat> and, um, you guys can sign up for, um, a consultation if you want to um, get with me on discussing whether or not this is right for you. Um, or if you just want to do a remote session, you could do that as well. And this is the pricing. So basically, it's going to be $4.99 for the first 10 people. And after that, it'll be $9.99. 
And so that's the deal. And so you can, you can register there. Um, and that actually takes you to um, a teach, the Teachable site, which is uh, something new that we're, we've been playing with, um, is just taking all the payment stuff directly through Teachable. Um, and there's some FAQs here and you can pay here. Um, there's obviously in this course, we're gonna be talking about what different types of payment methods you can take. I mean, obviously there's PayPal, and there's Stripe, and there's, you know, you can do it right online on the platform, but um, there's just like all different kinds of ways that you can do it. Stripe is very, um, very, very key for those of you guys that wanna be able to take credit cards and, and everything. So, um, so I've got a question. Uh, am I gonna be touching on best practices for tech? Yes. Absolutely. So Tech Toolkit is all about um, uh, basically all of the software and hardware that you need to like do your, your creative business online. Um, so that is um, definitely going to be, uh, uh, it's a whole module in, in the, the program is, is all about your, your tech stuff. Um, and I, I should also say like, in because I, I realize that like now is an interesting time we'll say because of you know what's happening in the world we are offering payment plans as well so um we're um being flexible with people with um master track transmute and with the cbi program just because we know some people um down the road you know obviously when the stimulus stuff comes in or like when work starts happening again you know people will have more resources so we're definitely um, being conscious of that with people and we just want to like, I mean, my main goal with this is like to, to help as many people as possible. Like, obviously, you know, I personally need to make money <laughs> to live, but also I want to help other people help them make money as well. And, and so that's really why I created this program is because, you know, created transmute and, you know, Ben can attest, like, you know, he gets up at, to an AM in the morning to in Singapore to come hang out with me on these calls um, because you know he knows the uh, uh, amount of information and value that I like put into these things it's just it's just immense and you know after transmute like so many people have been hitting me up especially since COVID it's 4 a.m. <laughs> um, so people have been hitting me up and I've been doing a lot of like just personalized you know free helping people you know over the past uh, couple of weeks because i love it and i want people to succeed but a lot of people have been asking me about my business stuff and it's just been this idea um that i've had for a while and i kind of was struggling with it because i'm like man I, you know i don't want to do a business thing because you know i want to be like only seen as like doing this music thing but I started thinking if I can help artists and help musicians do what I've done then that's going to bring me joy and that's like high up in my joy so that's why I decided to create CBI um so thank you guys so much for being here yeah we we absolutely need to know business I mean uh, like I struggled with it and I still like kind of kick my my feet because I'm like I don't I don't want to know about all this business stuff I don't want to know about like what this <laughs> like laying people off and this and that and blah 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 but like I definitely um you know I definitely have learned a lot over the past couple of years um about business from EC building EC over the last 10 years to building transmute and my online stuff and you know, it's definitely um, knowledge that I have, and I figured, why not, why not share it now? So, um, thank you guys so much for being here. It's really awesome to see all of your faces, and um, really appreciate all of the love and support that you guys are giving me. And um, yeah, if there's like certain things, other kinds of webinars, you know, if CBI isn't right for you right now or Transmute's not right for you right now, I'm still like going to be continuing to do um, these kinds of master classes. So definitely, you know, message me or Eugene, um, if you guys have her email and just like let us know what you want to know about. So 
Um, appreciate you guys being here. Thanks so much. And uh, yeah, I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you guys on the on the interwebs. And don't forget to fill out your information on um, the group contact document. So you can um, all keep in touch here and promote your courses on there and follow one another and yeah, just have fun. So um, I'm going to go. Thanks, Jeff. I'm going to go change back into my um, my leisure sweatpants. No, <laughs> I think I'm stuck where I am. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, take care, everyone. Leisure, leisure suits. Yeah, for sure. All right. Peace.